the treatment of financial asset is covered under IFRS 9 financial instrument. So we classify financial asset uh, either as investment in shares or investment in debt instrument. So in this video, we are, we'll be talking about, uh, I'll be talking about investment in shares. So there are two uh, classification of investment in shares. One is uh, the classification known as uh, fair value through profit and loss. This is one of the category. Another category is fair value through other comprehensive income. So if uh, an investor buy shares in any company that is a financial asset, it can be classified as FET PL or FET OCI. So in order to check that whether it's FET PL or FET OCI, you have to check that whether this investment is held for trading or not. If it is held for trading, then it, is, it, it, it will be classified as FET PL. But if it's not for held for trading, if it's for long term investment purpose, then it's classified as FET OCI or it is initially designated as FET OCI. Now, after classification, let's talk about the accounting treatment. So let's talk about the investment in shares which are classified as FET PL. So initially, these investment, these shares is to be measured at fair value. Fair value means the amount paid to acquire this investment. And what about transaction cost? If there is any transaction cost incurred, the accounting treatment of transaction cost is it is to be charged in profit and loss account. So investment has been capitalized, but transaction cost is to be recognized in profit and loss account. And remember that whenever you are recording anything in FET PL category, transaction cost is to be recognized in profit and loss account. But as far as subsequent measurement is concerned at each reporting date, the shares are reclassified at fair value. That is the market price. And if there is a change in fair value. The change in fair value is to be recognized in profit and loss account, either as gain or loss. Now, the next category, the accounting treatment, initial measurement of investment at fair value. That is the amount paid to acquire the shares. And as far as transaction cost is concerned, now that would be part of the investment. So it is to be capitalized means investment in shares plus transaction cost will be recognized in balance sheet. Subsequent measurement at each reporting date, the shares are reclassified at fair value with changes in fair value recognized in OCI as unrealized gain or loss. Now the difference is that in case of FET PL changes are recognized in profit and loss account. But when the classification is FET OCI, the changes will be recognized in other comprehensive income in case of gain credit in case of loss debit OCI. For example, ABC co acquired 10,000 ordinary shares of an entity XYZ on 1st January 2019 at a cost of $4 per share. So this is the investment in ordinary shares 10,000 multiplied by 440,000 of investment. Transaction cost incurred was 1500 at year end. The share price becomes 4.50. You have to prepare PL extract and balance sheet extract for 31st December 19, including journal entries, assuming the investment is classified as FET PL or it's classified as FET OCI. So let's discuss first of all if investment is classified as FET PL, then initial measurement. Is at fair value. So the 10,000 shares acquired at a rate of four each. So your total investment is 40,000 and investment debit 40,000 and the amount paid is credit. So this is the first entry. What about transaction cost? The transaction cost is uh, 1500 
it is to be charged in profit and loss account so uh, expense debit as transaction cost and payment credit this is the second journal entry so this is first one this is the second one at year end subsequent measurement the 10000 shares are now worth 4.5 each so that means the investment is now previously it was uh, 40000 now the investment worth is now 45000 so the investment is now 45000 from 40000 so there is a gain of 5000 and this is the FET PL category. So investment debit by 5,000 and gain is to be recognized in profit and loss account as gain on investment 5,000. So the PL extract, if you have to prepare PL extract, in PL you show gain on investment. Five thousand transaction cost fifteen hundred net amount in profit and loss account three thousand five hundred net amount that is a gain. And as far as uh, balance sheet is concerned, fine SFP. So investment is now worth on the asset side. The investment is forty five thousand. This is the balance sheet extract. Now, if we assume that it's FPT OCI, then the Initial accounting ten thousand shares purchased at a cost of four each total investment forty thousand transaction cost capitalized. So your transaction cost is one five double zero and that is to be capitalized. So it's forty one thousand five hundred and now. Investment debit by forty one thousand five hundred and bank account credit by forty one thousand five hundred. Now for subsequent measurement shares are measured at fair value again and now this time fair value is four point five. So it's 45,000. So you're carrying around your closing balance is now 45,000. It's already reported at 41,500. So the difference is gain of 3,500. The difference between 41,500, it's now become 45,000. So the gain is 3,500 and it is to be reported in OCI. So instead of PL. So investment debit by 3,500 and OCI credit 3,500 and from OCI it will be transferred to the reserve on equity side 3,500.